Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Battleships have been sunk by a number of things over the years. Mines, torpedoes, shell fire, even nuclear bombs. But the most modern technology that's ever been used to sink a battleship is this right here, an early guided missile. Guided missiles have only been fired at battleships on four occasions that I'm aware of. Three of them were this World War II guy, and the last one didn't happen until the Gulf War in 1991. This is a Fritz X guided bomb. It could be deployed by German bombers, and it was used very briefly in the Mediterranean. The first use of this bomb came on September 14, 1943, when the uh, people of Italy overthrew the fascist government and then surrendered to the Allies who were about to invade uh, further up the Italian peninsula. When they surrendered, they were ordered to inter their battle fleet, a very powerful force of fast battleships, cruisers, and destroyers uh, in the Allied controlled North Africa. So the battleships Roma and Italia, formerly known as Littorio, but renamed after the fascists were overthrown, uh, sortied to uh, internment in Tunisia. The Germans couldn't allow this to happen. And so they sent a very small force, uh, only six bombers, I believe, armed with this brand new state-of-the-art, uh, really advanced for its time technology. Uh, those six bombers were able to score one hit on the battleship Italia, disabling her, and two hits and a near miss on the battleship Roma. This weapon has about a 700 pound warhead and is about a ton and a half uh, in total weight with its fuel and everything else. And unlike modern guided missiles, this is armor piercing. So one of them was able to penetrate Roma's uh, armored decks and get all the way down to a magazine where it exploded, destroying the entire ship, 1700 and some odd members of her crew and the Admiral commanding the whole force. Later on, these bombs were used against American light cruisers and British destroyers invading Italy, then under occupation by the Germans. Uh, and one of them was even used on the British battleship Warspite, a veteran of the First World War. The bomb was able to punch through all six decks of Warspites after hull, punch through the double bottom, uh, and then explode underneath the ship. While Warspite was later repaired a little bit to be uh, used as shore bombardment during the invasion of Normandy, the British never fully repaired the ship and her X turret, the superimposed after 15 inch twin turret, was never uh, operational ever again. Following the invasion of Normandy, Warspite was quickly rotated out of service all because of these guided missiles. So they were able to destroy one battleship and uh, functionally render two other battleships useless. They also damaged a couple of American uh, Brooklyn-class light cruisers, uh, one of which took eight or nine months to repair uh, and uh, were used against some destroyers. The Allies were terrified of this weapon system and invested an incredible amount of time and resources into figuring out how to jam these bombs. They were controlled by radio signal by one of the aircraft that launched them. Um, and so the Allies started using some of the first jamming technology to try and block the signal. The problem was there was something like 18 different frequencies that these bombs could be used on. And so somebody had to manually tune their jammers to try and find the right frequency all while the bomb was coming in at them. Uh, that system was quickly replaced by another British-made system, which was able to jam a different component of the control circuit that only had a single frequency. And when this was done in 1944, uh, it effectively rendered the Fritz X obsolete. So these terrorized chips for a single year before they were removed. Nevertheless, the technology was state-of-the-art enough 
that uh, guided missiles rapidly replaced guns as the main uh, anti-ship weapon and uh, have even replaced most aircraft dropped bombs today. Even so, battleships wouldn't come under attack from these for another 50 years. Hiddensee, uh, an East German gunboat, is very similar to the preceding OSA class that the Soviet Union built. Uh, both classes were widely exported, and Iraq had a significant number of the OSAs, which, which again are similar to this vessel. Their main weapon, their main anti-ship weapon, is the SSN-2 Styx missile. That's the NATO uh, reporting name for it. It wasn't a uh, Corvette like Heidensee that fired on uh, the Allied fleet. They had been mostly destroyed by Allied uh, missiles. It was a shore battery that was using not the sticks, but the Chinese manufactured version of it, the silkworm. The last time a battleship was ever fired on by cruise missiles, and the only time since World War II, it was an Iowa-class battleship, the USS Missouri. It was February 1991. Missouri was part of the Allied fleet that was trying to liberate Kuwait from Saddam Hussein. A shore battery of silkworm missiles, similar to these behind me, was fired on uh, the Allied fleet, and it flew close enough to Missouri that uh, she deployed chaff, as did some of the other ships around her. While the missile could not get a lock on any ships and overflew them before being engaged and destroyed by a British warship's Sea Dart missile system, uh, the chaff launched by Missouri created a, another silhouette of a ship which was not uh, transmitting IFF, of course, identification friend or foe. And so one of the other American warships, which had its phalanx turned on weapons free, uh, the phalanx automatically targeted the uh, Missouri's flak cloud and fired into it. And of course, since chaff is just shredded aluminum, it went straight through the cloud and uh, a couple of the depleted uranium 20 millimeter rounds slammed into M Missouri. Uh, only one of them punched through the shell plating. One sailor was lightly wounded by shrapnel, uh, but otherwise there was no damage done. Jamming technology seems to have outpaced the types of guided missiles that uh, could be thrown at the battleships by that point. And here is a Styx missile, the same exact size as the Iraqi Silkworm and uh, basically the same design. Unlike the Fritz X, it's not an armor-piercing warhead, so it would have impacted relatively harmlessly against the shell plating of Missouri if it could have hit. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what guided missiles could do to battleships, leave them in the comment section down below. If you would like to support uh, Battleship Cove and their large collection here in Fall River, Massachusetts, we've left some links to their YouTube channel, their Facebook page, and their website in the description below. Uh, donations would be great. If you're close enough to volunteer, they have a very active and young volunteer force who does the majority of their restoration work on board. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from viewers like you. Thank you so much for allowing us to do stuff like this. And as always, we try to put out multiple pieces of content every week. Like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when they release. And thanks for watching.